Okay. Let's try for one more for tonight and see what we end up with. Really now. Barbie, the princess, and the pauper. Joy of joys. <laughs> I don't know if that got recorded. I had like a a burp pop in my throat or something that felt weird. All right, so more Barbie games. From Vendi Universal, so I kind of remember when they were a thing. And way forward, back when they were mainly making <laughs> movie tie-in games. Wow. Okay, I'm assuming then that this is the collection of minigames. Wow, that's a hell of a collection. Oh my. Now let's not do any of those, because that may well indicate that this will be a pretty short game. Okay. I like how she greeted the dog before she greeted the person. <laughs> That's interesting. And apparently this is the princess's job to take care of. And apparently the princess has a giant shield? <laughs> Why does the princess have a giant shield? Oh, <laughs> seriously. Well... Apparently, the princess is, um, descended from Mario with these jumping skills. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow. So, it's... Oh? Huh? Okay, never mind. I thought for a minute it would be kind of... <laughs> oh my! <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, that's... No, it was waiting for me to press L. That's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am far more amused by this than I should be. <laughs> okay, see, now... Yep. At first, I thought it was gonna be... You know, Lost Vikings-ish. Wherein, you know, Person B here would stand on the shield of Person A. Apparently that's not the case, though. Also, these people are lucky that, um, multiple switches were placed on either side of these gates. So, R button evidently does nothing for the time being. And squirrels are the enemy. Get out of here. No squirrels allowed in the uh, <laughs> royal forest or something. And apparently, um, fall damage. Totally not a thing. We can uh, just jump out of a 25 foot tall tree. No major, um, issues there. And yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised at how quickly the game stopped the hand-holding. The game is just letting me play the game. And 
for this kind of game, that is very surprising, and um, very good to see here. I also have to say, I am actually surprised at um, just how many of these golden apples we are picking up for what I expected would be just a very, very brief tutorial thing. This is actually pretty lengthy. Um, I don't know if I would want falling damage to be a thing. I guess I wouldn't be surprised if fall damage was a thing, especially since we have multiple hit points of, you know, the rose wilting or falling apart or whatever it was that it was doing. I have no idea how many hit points that represents, so I don't know how much damage they can take. So, you know, it, it wouldn't be amazingly terrible if fall damage were a thing here. But, you know, they decided to not go with fall damage, so, yeah. <laughs> Music is already getting a bit old, though. And I will say that, um, for a game based on a Barbie movie, this is already way better than I ever expected it could be. Okay, so we took some damage, that's okay. Kind of am curious as to how many hits we can take. No, oh, so much for that. <laughs> and I have to say that um, Shield Princess here is kind of just uh, the utility princess. We use her to do the things she needs to do and then just switch away to the one who can do everything else. Oh, and was that health there before? Not even certain anymore. Yeah, oh, and there's that taken care of. Totally forgot that was even what we were doing, I thought. I was thinking that there was water up ahead like that there, but oh well, no matter either way. Shield Princess is just the one to use when we absolutely need her. Which I'm guessing that we will at least one more time. Since there's only one apple left and it's right on that gate that we just found, so... Oh, and I was wondering if we would have to walk all the way back, but nope, no need for that. So I thought we were going to help with some kind of irrigation thing. What did collecting golden apples have to do with that? Okay, now we're the animals. Why is this a thing now? Oh well. <laughs> I mean, again, this is not bad. Still controls decently well. So I'm having a hard time telling exactly what animal Wolfie is supposed to be, given that, um,. This. Like, this does not look like a cat, or a dog, or a wolf, or any other kind of animal. Hmm. Okay, so that's a thing that can happen, I suppose. And again, um, looks like the cat here is, well, the obvious cat, is the gonna be used all the time one, whereas this possible dog is the one which will just be used when we need a thing to be done that 
only the possible dog can do. Yeah. Didn't actually even check. Can the dog actually plant seeds? Oh, oh yes, yes it can. So I guess never mind, uh, they can both plant the seeds, so they're both about equally useful here. So the animals are better off than the humans in that regard. And yeah, just um, browsing and traipsing through here, this seems like it's going to be surprisingly complex for uh, what I expected. Oh, and uh, <laughs> one of my stream chat members has done the research, which um, <laughs> may well now have him on a watch list somewhere for this kind of thing. Apparently this is a calico cat named Wolfie. Alright, so... Switch to the cat, have it climb some trees. I guess this cat doesn't want to dig in the dirt since it's, you know, fancy white Persian cat. And squirrels are not allowed. Ha! <laughs> curious why the other one can't climb trees, but, um, you know, it all works out. <laughs> Lost and gained health in the same second there. And yeah, the health does in fact respawn amazingly quickly, apparently. Alright, not too many left now. Nothing else left up there. No, oh, could get her up there. Let's just see. Yeah, well, we'll go this way and see what we get. Probably should have guessed that uh, what we would get would be another seed. One to go. Let's go see where that's gonna be. Oh, right there. That didn't take long. Is there anything else? No, that is the entirety of the level. Well then. Also, if somebody would be so kind as to, um... Just wait and see. Yeah, if somebody would be so kind and see, check if uh, Game of Accused does have a walkthrough for this, because I'm mildly curious just how long this game is. Because while it is certainly playable... Oh, now we're clearing the water. Just had to take care of some random tasks along the way. And again, I do question why the princess is taking care of this, rather than... Oh. Okay, Princess and the Cat, sure. <laughs> you know, rather than, say, the Royal Plumber, or... Oh, the cat can jump! Okay. <laughs> so we have officially entered Lost Vikings territory. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. <laughs> oh, that, uh, wow. <laughs> that was something. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, I can only assume that the water is coming up through these columns, because this pipe doesn't go anywhere else. There's just water flowing from nowhere. 
Okay. So is that, um... I'm told that there is no walkthrough, but there are passwords going up to stage 4-4. Four, four. And, um, is that... Uh, four stages per area, then? I mean, if if that's all there is, then... Yeah, we can, we, I think we can do this. At least, at the very least, to get to the end of uh, the first area. And apparently this game has bosses. <laughs> that's interesting. We glide. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure for a second there, but, um, yeah. Totally screwed that up. It's kind of bothersome in that you can only, uh, switch characters when it's, uh, when your character is entirely landed. And... Can't do a thing about the frogs. Okay. <laughs> you get to continue being a frog. Alright, so nothing up there. Okay. Also, the uh, shield princess here is uh, less useful than a cat. Wonder how she feels about that. getting tired of this music and the slow bass of the game. If anything is going to keep me from finishing it, it is those two things. Although the pace is not really going to improve any with the um, subsequent stages, so... And one can only hope that the music actually changes and gets better in other areas. Okay. Sort of a freebie there, didn't have to actually do anything else. And one of the uh, stream audience members makes a very good point. She could have had an umbrella and it would have amounted out to exactly the same, allowing you to glide after a jump and uh, protecting from things above have made slightly more sense for a princess to be carrying rather than a pink shield. But who knows, maybe... Maybe in the actual movie, the um, Barbie princess carried a giant pink shield with her everywhere. Cannot honestly say myself. that sound? Hmm. That'll work. Okay. Would be nice if uh, lowering the shield made you walk a bit faster. And there's just enough going on with all the jumps and enemies. I can't really, um use the turbo button all that much, so can't improve this or uh, increase the speed in that way either. At that speed of just slow enough to be really annoying. Oh, there we go. Now we're in what I assume is stage 1-4. Oh, what? What? <laughs> the Calico Cat just barked. So what the hell? Hmm. 
and squirrels are not allowed. And I have to say, um, this is kind of the opposite of a Disney princess. Usually they sing and the animals flock to them. This one sings and the animals run away. So that is kind of a nice change. And is there anything? No? Yes. Not a thing she can reach though, I don't think. Unless... Can she use a lever with the power of her singing? <laughs> oh my. That's a thing. Why is that a thing? I nearly saved myself right there. It doesn't matter if I save into it or not. Alright, so... Yeah, nothing. Right. I don't know why I thought there might be something there. So, that'll be a way for her to get through later on, or maybe a thing that she will hit. Yeah, so, apparently can't do that. So, how do we... Hmm, weird. I guess we don't need her to get through this. That was all we needed to do then. Alright, now both of them have to get back up here. At least we chased all the squirrels away already. Hmm. And again, uh, stream audience <laughs> being generally awesome and looking up all these things. Apparently, in the movie, the cat does act like a dog. Don't know why I keep thinking I can, uh, shoot that forward as a projectile. Okay, so, oh, oh, nope. I was thinking that only the cat would get up there, but, um, hmm. Not sure what that switch activated. Well, cannot get by to find out, so, oh well. Although, actually, now that I think of it, it's the opposite switch to this. There we go. Okay, nothing whatsoever up there. Good to know. Alright, so... Okay, so she needs to sing for that. Alright, there's that. Apparently we'll be getting... No, we already got that one. Never mind. Alright, so in places like that, we can easily use Turbo just to speed things up that extra little bit. And then we will get this other lever over here. <laughs> Good to see that they thought that that might happen and made it so that you could jump out of that as her. Would not have really surprised me if you could, um, get to a spot where you couldn't get out in that fashion. Kind of really curious as to what those are exactly. Best I can figure is just some sort of, like, rotted fruits that are hanging on the vine there. Also, we, um, took care of the cat's job by climbing through the trees already. Even if it is a cat that acts like a dog more. Alright, so then. Basically, aside from the singing, the two characters we have currently are basically identical. Just, um, the singing and the digging separate them. Alright, so... 
Well, I guess that is another way in which they differ. She can't get into those tight-fitting spots. Still not a clue how many hits she can take exactly, or any of the characters can take exactly. I do get the feeling it won't actually matter, though. And that one was already flipped. Okay. Reached the end of the level in that direction, so... Let's do some digging. See what we can find. I mean, I'm not expecting to find anything other than more levers, but still. then, where is the final lever? This is interesting. I don't have a clue where the final lever could be. <laughs> this is the uh, first of these stages that has actually managed to, you know, hide a thing in a spot that I didn't immediately find. Oh, there we go. That'll be it. Okay. Okay. And we have boss level. Alrighty then. <laughs> so he's just gonna... Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is a sort of fantastic right here. Again, I am way more amused by this than I really should be. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, those sprites. <laughs> so, what's this? Okay, we got a piece of map. Looks like we have a forest. So I guess area two is going to be the forest. <laughs> what? What? This I've got to see. I, I, I was all ready to stop, but um, a cat that can hatch eggs by smacking them with her paw. Whack. Be born. <laughs> okay, so, you know. What do you guys think? I'm basically ready to be done with this game, but, um, I'll leave it up to you guys. I I'm not going to carry on any further today, but if you think I should toss this into the unfinished pile and actually complete this game, I will, because, I mean, this has not been a bad game in really any way. It's a little bit slow, but it's not bad. <laughs> Bam. Egg is born. <laughs> well, yeah, egg is born. No, um, bird is born. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, we are getting more votes for finishing it, so uh, yeah. I will toss this into the unfinished pile and return to this later. So yeah, um, 
Well, I don't really have to do a wrap-up, because we are going to be returning to this. So yeah, we'll return to this at some point later. 